In the last stall, there is Fiona and Fiona, who is the fell pony mare, and her foal, Lima. Sorry for the bad lighting. And in the back of each stall, there is a water bowl and a food dish, but because of the bad lighting, I don't think you can see it, and I don't think that's much point me staying on that for too much longer. Anyway, here is our tacking up style stand. So there is the chains here, who which do have lobster clips on the end. There are some S hooks here, hold it, currently holding up a halter and a bridle. A saddle has just been perched on here, just because someone's lazy. Then here is the dog bowl. Anyway, um, here, there is the dog bowl. Here is one of our for, the, here is one of our dogs. It is Lexi, who is the Great Dane. And here is Jamie and Emily. Jamie is the Sandy Pug, um, who are our pug, um, who are our baby pugs. So. Who are our pug puppies? Sorry, all my knowledge just went then. Anyway, back here we have Flo, who is the Falabella mare, and Patch, her foal. Here is Lee, who is holding, who, um, who is leading Phoebe, our Tennessee Walker yearling, to the tacking up stand, as he's just seeing how well she can be, how well she's handling tack. Here is Sophia, one of um, the younger riders who just come in for like one lesson a week. Here is Laura, who is one of our stable hands. She's just sweeping up the floor. Back here is Joe. He is just uh, making sure the everything like this is our manure pile, so he is just making sure everything's in it still. This is Emily, who is trying to get Flory, our Falabella mare. Uh, sorry, not uh, this is Flory, who is our mini Shetland mare's attention, and she's trying to get her attention. Sorry about that. Then we have this is Lizzie, who is another groom here who is also quite a main figure in our barn and this is Emma next to holding a saddle cloth they are here to help Lee get the tack on her and just introduce her to it but they're walking behind her at a distance so she doesn't so it doesn't scare her so that is the barn level and then moving down on to our final level with I think even worse lighting to be honest um, is the two paddocks. There is a mare and foal paddock and a stallion pad and a stallion paddock. I am aware I am aware in real life that they there wouldn't be this many horses in this short space, but I also just sort of pretend that the fields do carry on further. So if you could just keep that in your mind, that'd be grand. So in the mare and foal field, if you can ever, if you can make them out, but if you can't, then just go with me. This is Juliet, the Hanoverian mare, and her foal Samuel. Behind them, here you can just see her star. It's Bailey, the Camargue foal. At the back here we have Zoe, the Halflinger mare, and Emma, the Halflinger laying down foal. At the back in the corner we do have Amy, the Trekkinger mare. Then there's some ducklings just pacing across the field. And here is Abby, our Shetland foal. This is Becky, who is the feeder, who is just... And, Ab and Abby's just been really entranced by her, so I'm not sure if it's just the food or the a or the actual human, but we may never know. Then in here, there's like hay and veg added in for any of the horses to just kind of chomp on. There is a tree, and back here and here is a water trough at the gate divider, but I don't think you can make it out that well. Here is the get out the field quick kit. It sort of has really tasty treats and halters and anything that like if there's like a fire or something and the horses need to be got out of the field or any emergency then it's there here is the fox who is preying on the duckling preying on the ducklings at the minute so we're just leaving him be but if he gets any closer we will try and fend him off not sure how but anyway then this is the stallion and gelding paddock here is Mark, the Icelandic stallion. Back there, the rearing one, that's Dominic, our Mustang stallion. Next to him, we have Dylan, our fell pony stallion. Back there is Ricky, the Camargue stallion. In the middle here, we have Basil, the rearing mini Shetland stallion. Here we have Oscar, our Shire stallion, with his foal Nathan. And that is it for the stallions in that field. You can see them a lot better than the mare, so I do apologise again. Here they have the same things as hay and veg for them to just chomp on. They also have an extra hay rack because they seem to get through a heck of a lot more food than the mares. Back there, there's just a tree. And here is just a wheelbarrow with some carrots on. Coming off to the barn slightly, there is just another thing of hay storage. Here is the our truck. And Dave, this is David, the office guy in it. He's just getting it out. I'm not sure what, where he's going, but it's not attached to the trailer, so he's probably just running an errand. Back there is our trailer, 
no one's in it currently. Then this is our small animal pen holding place. So this on top of here is a mouse. But inside is our two rabbits, Hillary, which is the wild rabbit, and Domino, which is the black and white rabbit. That's about it for them. Then moving on, we have the goat, which is not actually Schleich, but I kind of got her to customise her a while ago, but she's just kind of milling in here now. Um, she doesn't have a name, but then there's Phil, the goat kid. I've, yep. Then we have Tony, the tortoise. Now here we have Liam, the zebra foal. And here we have the hamster, which doesn't have a name, and Will Bet, the pig. Anyway, then here is a bowl, which is like an empty water bottle, and there's like been a salt lick thrown in it, and also a cookie, which is lovely. Then we have a trough for any horse returning from a great hack sort of thing to have easy access to a drink. Then we have a gate just to sort of keep our mess in because there's an extra post here and a Merry Christmas sign. So that is our barn. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you very much for watching.